So if you're familiar with Uncle Roger, I think the first clip I might have seen of him was the one that was trending about rice, um, where he was like, why are you washing rice? Some, some kind of clip like that. It was very big. But anyways, he's been cancelled or he was cancelled. I don't know if that's still the case. In this video I'm about to check out, we'll see why he was cancelled and he's going to be explaining that. That being said, let's get to it. Where are you from? Are you from Boston? Uh, originally from Guangzhou. Guangzhou, China. Yeah. China, okay. China, good country. Good country. <laughs> good country. Good country. <laughs> Woo. We have to say that now, correct? Oh, their phone listening. Oh, their phone listening. <laughs> This nephew got Huawei phone, they all listening. <laughs> you use Express VPN? Yeah. <laughs> to you, yeah. nice. <laughs> Don't let your government hear that, please. <laughs> or our phone tap into it. Long live presidency. Long live presidency. Ooh, okay, that's the problem. <laughs> Uncle Roger, social credit score going up. <laughs> From China, okay. Anyone, anyone, any niece and nephew from Taiwan? <laughs> Not a real country. Not a real. <laughs> Not a real country. I hope one day you rejoin the motherland, one China. No, no, don't clap too hard. This is not political show. No, don't clap. <laughs> Uncle Roger gonna get cancelled after tonight. Oh, he said it. I basically um kind of kind of mocked both sides. You know, I think as a, a good comic, you need to play both sides and mm -hmm. get both sides pissed off at you. Otherwise, it feels you feel more like a politician if you're just very pro or leaning against one side, right? So in that bit, I may, I think I, I pulled off making fun of both uh, China and, and Taiwan at, at the same time. You know, the first time I saw this clip, I was so shocked that his English is very, very good. You know, because the way he speaks in his comedy just makes it sound like, you know, He's not well versed when he's talking, but he's actually very fluent. Like it. Speaks better than me. I'm and the, and again, these are all jokes. You know, I come to my show, there's maybe like just just that joke kind of touches on a political nerve, somewhat lightly. But the things I say is like, oh, Huawei Fo, are they all listening? Ha ha ha. Like that's the kind of things we all say, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chinese, they're all they're all listening. Oh, anyone from Taiwan? Oh, not a real country, not a real country. That's kind of jokes you all. That's like the standard in a comedy club. You find out where someone's from. You make fun of their country. Yeah. Move yeah. on to the next person. That's what you do. It's not even that big a deal. It's just no. maybe I, I I know more about this because of my cancellation. So I I could like I was quick and off the cuff and and a little bit of a spoiler here. I've done that joke many times. You know, it looks like I. Just, you know, improvise. Oh, oh you're from China? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. No, a lot of my shows, I have people from China come in, uh, to my shows. And um, I have to say, I sold like um, uh, close to 100,000 tickets for the tour. Wow. That one bit worked everywhere, you know? Uh, I, I did have to cancel Taiwan, but that wasn't because of that bit. That was because the, the COVID, COVID restrictions were still there. Uh, so it, it worked everywhere. I know it's a good bit. I know it's, uh, it's funny. And I know it also will ruffle some feathers. It's a little bit con slightly controversial. And it's just fun. I don't really think that is controversial. It's either we're too sensitive these days or I just, I don't know, I have a different level of humor, but I don't, I wouldn't take that to be controversial. So I know that was going to do well. I didn't know I was going to do this well, you yeah. know, appearing on BBC and everything. So I posted that Appearing and BBC. then um, uh, again, the same thing happened. Somebody, I didn't post it on Chinese socials because yeah, on Chinese socials, you can't really mention the president by name. That is just a, a no-no. And mm -hmm. Why well, go through the trouble? I have a feeling they're gonna be pissed off at this, and I, I was right. But I didn't <laughs> post it on any Chinese socials. Somebody again, some nationalist Weibo person, screenshotted that and then posted it on their accounts, and then my account got uh, reported and suspended this time. Hmm. So now, even though you didn't post it, I didn't post it. So they haven't banned you for breaking the rules of Weibo. They've banned you for having the what they think is the wrong opinion, even though it's just a joke. They, initially, I got banned because of the reports from other people, but yeah. my Chinese social media team, my current one, has recently informed me that, that ban also is not just a social media platform ban, it also came from higher up. Well, okay. we, whatever that means, I, I don't know what that means. What I know is I probably won't be able to go to China or Hong Kong. In the, wow. uh, in, in, in is he Chinese? Because he doesn't have a nation anymore. <laughs> in the future. 
Which Ew. is, you know, uh, it's, it's the price I have to pay. I can still go to Taiwan, hopefully, before yeah. China like, nukes them. I That's should go a big before. price to pay. <laughs> I can see why you got cancelled by China, mate. Right? <laughs> so, so yeah. you you have that video. We'll we'll include it in this if, yeah, if sure. it's okay with yeah. you. Uh, and then your Chinese social media accounts get nuked. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, I'm. I think all four of them got nuked. Right. Yeah, I'm wow. on four four Chinese socials now. So, and then I. I, I, I've learned from last time, right? I know, I know if I make any sort of statement trying to like say, oh, it's on, on Chinese socials, just saying that, oh, it's, it's just a joke, guys. And, and by the way, the Chinese fans on my socials, and uh, they, they all know it's just a joke. It's like, mm-hmm. they, all, they all enjoy it. It's just this very tiny, it's kind of like the Western world too, mm-hmm. right? These social justice jingoistic warriors, they're like, oh, I can't believe he humiliated China. This, this, there's a term in, in Mandarin uh, currently, it's a very trendy term called ruhua, and it translates to humiliate China. And then uh, there's a joke in, in the Taiwanese, like an, the anti, anti-China anti country circles that go like, oh, uh, humiliating China is a thing everybody goes through because they are so sensitive, mm. that, that kind of thing. So yeah. there are three things in, in, in life that you will do. You were born, you humiliate China, and you die. <laughs> that, that's the joke. <laughs> so it, and and I've, I just learned about all of this. And it is true, there's a very vocal, very sensitive people who, who will report everything. Uh, and Coincidentally, when I was cancelled the day before, there was a Chinese comedian. His name is Li Hao Shi. He made a joke. I listened to that joke. He just said, "Oh, I, I saw some, some a few dogs, and they were like just really a, uh, really energetic, and I really want him to protect my house because those dogs remind reminded me of." And then he said the Chinese military cra- catchphrase. Uh, hmm. I forgot the catchphrase, but he basically used that catchphrase in that bit, and the bit got an applause break. I listened to that actual bit. So everybody in the comedy club found it funny, but apparently somebody recorded illegal footage of just audio, posted it. He, he, he might face three months in jail. He, he, his uh, management company is fined 1.5 million uh, pounds. Wow. Yeah, wow. So- For saying that, no, this is crazy. Why are we living in a... It used to be the majority gets the vote, but now it's like the minority. It's a minority that just find your your thing offensive. They're the ones getting the votes now. And everything is so sensitive. We can't even use words anymore. You can't use vocabulary we used to use before. And these things were vocabulary we created to define certain things for us, but now we cannot use it anymore. This is a joke. If you're going to a comedy show, what are you going there for if you're not going to enjoy yourself and have a good time? If you're going there to pick, I don't know, pick fights or look for things to make you cringe, well, it's a comedy show. So yeah, you're going to find those things. It's crazy. So it is fortunate that, you know, I, I'm not, my nationality is not Chinese. You know, my eth- ethnicity, yes, you know, Chinese, but that that's, that's always tricky. Isn't it nice to be white sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> He's white now. <laughs> Oh, that's good. All right. Um, let me know what you think of that video. When I saw it, I was just, I was, I've seen it before and I was quite sad. I didn't see the entirety of it. I just saw like a few minutes, probably like maybe two, three minutes in. And I was quite sad because he's very funny. Like he's, he's a very big sensation. Him and um, emotional damage. I don't know. I used to watch those guys steady every time. Like I just kept going through their, you know, their videos. And when I saw he was cancelled, because for some time I haven't heard or seen him anywhere. And yeah, it's quite it's quite sad. It's quite sad that that is happening. But let me know your thoughts. Feel free to share in the comment section. Um, I don't know why a certain minority would just want to rule the world with um, their emotions. It shouldn't be happening. I'm getting emotional. This is the end of this video. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.